Thank you, Megan. Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining us today as we will discuss the optimization of your Waters and Power 3 systems validation. First, here is a little bit of my personal background before we get started. I'm a validation consultant with extensive experience in the use, administration, and validation of many laboratory informatics systems such as Empower. In addition to the use, maintenance, and qualification of analytical instrumentation. I'm currently in my third year with CSOL, providing validation and informatic services to both the pharmaceutical and biotech industries. Overall, I possess over 13 years of industry experience from everything as a vaccines research scientist to a SQL Lens and Empower administrator. And in 2007, I was issued a Waters Empower Administration Certificate, and I have validated both Empower 2 and Empower 3 instances. For today's Empower Validation webinar, we shall discuss validation best practices and Empower 3 validation, what the vendor can offer, an empower diagram, why you should avoid cookie cutter validations, what's required by your company, how to audit proof your empower validation, a summary of today's presentation, followed by a question and answer session. What is GAMP? In general, when it comes to the validating of software in a regulated industry, GAMP is considered the gold standard. And I will be referencing it throughout my presentation. For those in the audience that may not be familiar with GAMP, it stands for Goods Automated Manufacturing Practices and was created by the International Society of Pharmaceutical Engineers, or simply ISPE. The most current version is referred to as GAMP 5, and it lays out the foundation for achieving compliance and fitness for intended use for all GXP regulated systems in a pragmatic and efficient manner. Many corporations leverage the outlined practices in GAMP 5 while validated complex computer systems such as Empower 3 because GAMP 5 categorizes computer systems based upon risk, complexity, and novelty. GAMP 5 categorization then outlines a specific risk-based risk -based approach to validating such categorized systems. The next few slides will explain what GAMP 5 category and Empower CDS system falls under, what the GAMP 5 V model is, and what validation deliverables are used as a best practice. Shown here is a classic V model, or validation model, for a GAM5 Category 4 system. But what is a V model, and what does Category 4 mean to you? Well, for GAM5, software products which are configured for business-specific processes are classified as GAM Category 4. And since Waters and Power 3 is a software product that is tailored and configured for specific laboratory business processes. It is thus classified as GAMP Category 4. You can then use GAMP 5 to clearly detail, document, and have a widely accepted path to follow, which will ultimately lead to an optimized Empower 3 validation. The GAMP 5B model illustrates what validation documents are needed and at what stage they are needed in. Now, although the V model does not illustrate all of the required validation deliverables, the GAMP5 guide as a whole does. 